We're here today to support the Dwyer family, but we shouldn't have to be here. We're here because this vicious cop killer, not only twice this year, but now a third time, gets a shot at freedom. This family, in a few minutes, will go upstairs to this parole here and give a big victim impact statement for the third time and have to reopen wounds. Let me ask this question. How many chances did this family get to bring home their son, to bring home their brother? How many chances did our hero officer, Anthony Dwyer, get when he was dying at the bottom of an air shaft? This is a slap in the face to this family, to every New York City police officer who puts on that uniform every day and risks their lives to protect New Yorkers. This parole board needs to stop torturing this family and keep this cop killer behind bars where they belong. And unfortunately, it will be a month from now whether we see if they do the right thing. So I'm asking all New Yorkers to stand with this family. Go on to our website, NewYorkCityPBA.org. Click on Keep Cop Killers in Jail. Send those petitions. Send that message that this cop killer should stay behind bars where he belongs. Now I'm going to turn it over to March Dwyer our hero officer, Anthony Dwyer's mother. Thank you very much. It's sad that we're here. This is about the seventh time we've had to write victim impact letters and relive everything that happened to my son and how it affected our family. And I truly believe the parole board should deny him parole, which I hope to God they do because I just feel that it's not right. My son wasn't given a second chance or a third chance or a fourth chance. He was killed one day and this guy went to prison and I'm sure he had a pretty nice, easy life in prison. I know he found God. There's not too much else to do in prison except find God or fight, find God or fight with other prisoners. I just hope that today, again, they deny him parole. But I don't think, truly, I think like with the parole board, there's four people. They can decide his future. They should be responsible. And if he is let out, they should definitely be responsible for anything he does. Thank you very much. I really appreciate you all being here. And say a prayer and send in your petitions. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you again. Thank you.